starting with Azerbaijan speaking on behalf of the non-aligned group. You have the floor, sir. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, thank you. I have the honor to speak on behalf of the state parties of the non-alignment movement and other state parties to the BTWC. NAM notes that there have been recent advances demonstrating the increasing sophistication of synthetic biology together with other enabling technologies which have benefits together with the potential for uses contrary to the provisions of the Convention. All states must conduct such activities in a transparent manner in order to build the confidence of the other state parties. We also believe that the need to prevent harmful activities should never hamper scientific evolution for peaceful purposes and life-saving achievements like vaccine development. Developing countries in particular could benefit from advances in technologies that make vaccine production simpler, faster, cheaper and more efficient. Imposing and or maintaining unjustified restrictions contrary to the obligations under the Convention on the Development of Dual-Use Technology, Materials and Equipment needed to promote capacity building in the fields of sanitary control, detection, diagnosis and control of infectious diseases, including the production of some vaccines and other biological materials, should be considered a violation of Article 10. Considering the dual uh, used nature of some of the new technologies. The group is aware that there is a potential for uses contrary to the provisions of the convention including by programming cells to produce toxins, viruses and other cells which could uh, cause harm designing and building new or altered uh, pathogenic viruses, the ability to confer mammalian transmissibility to viruses or drug resistance to pathogens, the decreasing genetic diversity and the development of incapacitating weapons and the increasing capacity to deliver biological weapons via the alimentary route. The group reiterates its position that the dual uh, use nature of these technologies by itself should not in any way amber the free the, the fullest exchange of technologies between the parties to the convention, especially when some developed countries are freely engaged in many activities that the rest in the domain of these new technologies in the framework of their biodefense programs. State parties should undertake all efforts to prevent actions and decisions within the BWC that would raise obstacles to the development of biological sciences in developing countries. NAM and other state parties to BWC believe that Enhancing scientific and technological understanding will be not good if ways and means are not found for technology transfer by developed countries to develop once. The unhindered exchange of science and technology in the framework of the Convention is also important in the context of enhanced national implementation of the Convention by developing countries, which is many circumstances lack resources, technological, financial and human required for effective implementation of all the provisions of the Convention. The group takes positive note of working paper which was submitted by China and Pakistan on a proposal for the development of a model code of conduct for biological scientists under the Biological Weapons Convention and working paper submitted by the Islamic Republic of Iran on scientific and technological development of relevance to the Convention for further consideration. While the group recalls its position on proposals related to compliance assessment, it reiterates that such proposals should not in distract the attention of state parties away from strengthening the Convention in all its aspects, including the need for a verification mechanism. Effective international actions against biological threats need to be universal, legally binding and non-discriminatory. In addition, this cannot be achieved without strengthening the national capacity. I thank you, Mr. Chairman. Je remercie l'Azerbaïdjan.